Hey, this is Josh and Brent, the Fabulous Beekman Boys. And you're watching My Long Island on Fios. It's fabulous, too. Tonight is uh, Long Island Gay and Lesbian Youths, or Legally's 12th Annual Gay Prom on Long Island. We started the first one, actually, in the entire country for, in suburbia 12 years ago. And it's a night that brings together young gay kids and their friends um, for this uh, rite of passage that most teenagers get to experience at their own school, but unfortunately still today for many gay youth, they don't get to experience that because of the bullying. So hopefully we get to a point where every single school across Long Island and across New York State um, is a place where people can just be themselves. I mean, you know, like live and let live, let's support and nurture and appreciate all our differences and let's let our kids just have a really great um, great experience as a teenager. GLB2 youth are not comfortable bringing their same-sex partners to their school prom. Even if the school will allow it, most schools don't, but if the schools allow it, they don't feel relaxed, they don't feel comfortable. Here they can do that in a relaxed, comfortable, controlled environment. The kids here tonight look great. They're having a great time. Lots of adult supervision. Of course, it's a substance-free zone and they can be who they are and have a wonderful evening. We're honored to be supportive of our youth and to really come out and experience a moment in life that they've really cherished for many years to come. To see over close to 150 of our young kids come out and enjoy and be part and be really enjoy themselves and expressing themselves in the, in the way they should be and proud of themselves, I think it's phenomenal. I got involved with Legally. I found them online because I was just looking for an LGBT center of some kind. Um, and I came to Outlet, which is their Friday night social program, and I started just coming to more and more programs, and I found out about the internship and applied. I've actually only been on Long Island since January, but um, I've noticed that it is a lot better than uh, Pennsylvania, where I was before. Um, people are a lot more accepting and open. We got involved last year with uh, Legally and we really enjoyed coming to these proms because they're a lot of fun and it's just a really great experience for us to be able to come out here and dance and have fun with other people like us. Considering it's been almost a year since uh, the New York uh, marriage bill was passed, so I think it's definitely progressing. Everybody at Legally, at any Legally event, is a lot more welcoming and friendly and you know, school problems are a little bit more awkward. I'm absolutely excited about this evening. I came here with all of my friends. I brought them all from school. We took the party bus from Legally in Bayshore. You don't exactly know everyone here. It's more fun. You get to meet new people that don't go to your school, and you just get to dance and have fun. In my school, there have been incidents um, where students have been bullied for their sexual orientation or gender identity. And we're working on fixing that, but um, we're, it's still a problem in Long Island schools and schools throughout the nation. It's regular high school things. Like if you're not if you're not the same, you're different. And if you're different, it's tough. Yeah, the same thing. I've had the same issues where I wasn't openly gay about my orientation, and I just I didn't feel comfortable. So now I'm just I'm here in an environment where I can feel safe. I can be happy. I can hold the hand of the person I love, and without any worries or anything like that. I look at something like this and I look at the work that Legally has done and I just, you know, get a little choked up because it's such a, a different time and a different place. So we're the Emperor and Empress of the Imperial Court of New York. We are a non-for-profit that raises money for the LGBT. We came to the prom because we were not able to come to the prom when we were um, in high school and teenagers. We thought, you know what, this would be a great time to come and see what's going on out here in Long Island. Uh, I went to a boarding school that had just gone co-ed and my class was the last class of men who had been there when it was all boys. They were not ready for me to come to prom on my time, and I wasn't ready to go on theirs. Um, so this is really actually the first prom that I've ever been to. Um, what I'm going to do for you all is um, tell you what the colors are as we announce our winners for the Rainbow Court. So every year Legally awards the Rainbow Court. Um, and that's six individuals who have contributed to Legally or to their communities. The Rainbow Court comes from using the Rainbow Pride flag, which was created in the 1970s as a way to represent the diversity of our communities. Um, so we picked six individuals to represent those specific colors and what the original meanings represented in the Pride flag. 
I'm in a lot of programs with Legally and in the community. With Legally, I'm in Safe Schools, which is to help make schools a safer place and discuss things in the community and within Schools GSAs that we can do to help make schools a safer place. I want to tell everyone that no matter how hard it gets and no matter how much you want to give up, keep going because it is worth it. You can make your life so much better. Do what you love, be who you are, and never forget where you come from.